Welcome Pisces to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of December 1st to the 15th of 2021. <clears throat> I want to apologize for not doing the second half of November, but there was a death in my family and it was important that I be with my family on the West Coast. Uh, so I made the decision just to jump into December 1st to the 15th, just to get everything moving again. So Pisces, this is a time where you need to mean what you say and say what you mean. Be clear, be strong, be gentle. I feel that it's very, very important that you listen to your inner compass, listen to your uh, intuition. You're extremely intuitive. Many of you Pisces, as I read internationally, I get to talk to many of you. You're extremely intuitive. So pay attention to that inner compass. Pisces, you need to pay attention to that. Now I feel that some of you can feel that success or the next level is right there within your reach. For many of you Pisces, this is another job that you've been seeking, you've been wanting. Uh, a position, maybe your own business. Some of you, I see you opening up your own business. I feel that many of you are just moving forward uh, into this higher vibration as well. Pay attention to what you're paying attention to, Pisces. Listen to your intuition. Journal if you have to. Some of you are at crossroads when it comes to relationships and you're watching people leave your life and you're watching people from your past circle back around. Um, I feel that you need to choose what brings you joy and for many of you, these people that are cycling back around, you're going to say, oh, wait, I didn't enjoy that the first three or four times. Why am I, what's going to make me enjoy this person's company now? So I feel like you need to just pay attention to that. For some of you, this is about also, um, you're watching these people come in and other people you're watching leave your life. Actually, you're escorting them out in a good way. Um, I feel that you're going to be hearing news. Oh, God, that's going to be uh, family members getting the word. Look, Pisces, I feel that you're on your journey. And many of you are in line with the divine and you're on your journey. And with this journey, there's this rejection, this uh, denial, I mean, this hurt, this pain, the shame, all of it. It's like a spiritual conquest that you've been going through personally, each Pisces. For some of you, it's healing. Uh, other, it's financial. Honestly, oftentimes, all three, the physical, spiritual, financial, are all connected. So I feel that um, you need to choose what brings you peace because really there's light and there's dark. There's peace and there's confusion. So Pisces, you need to keep this all in line. Your emotions, Pisces, are clear indicators of what is good and what is not good, Pisces. So pay attention to what you're paying attention to, Pisces. If need be, journal it down. <clears throat> now, when it comes to career and finance, I do feel that there's this what makes your soul shine? Um, follow that. What brings that shine about you? I don't, I, I do, like I said, international readings for many Pisces. I, I get uh, people who are, you know, I got this woman who's an attorney and she decided to open a bakery. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, especially for somebody who went to school and already did a lot of work. But you know what? Opening that bakery is making her soul shine. So that is what she needs to do. Now with this, there's some mountains that you're gonna have to overclimb and here's a card that just flipped out indicating that. So what makes you happy isn't necessarily, there's gonna be, um, you know, whether it's finances or maybe somebody else really, uh, you know, some of you want to get into a field and it's flooded. Um, pray about it. 
align your heart and your mind with the divine and allow him to make tracks for you and follow the tracks and give divine gratitude that will make more come, more come. Uh, let's go pull a couple cards here. Pisces, Pisces. What do the Pisces need to know that will be listening to this video pertaining to love, romance, relationship, December 1st to the 15th of 2021? 20, 2021. Pisces. Oh. Okay, a mystery is going to be solved. So you're going to find something out you didn't know before, and it is pertaining to some sort of relationship, commitment. Oh, yeah, you're going to find out. Oh, you're going to find out for sure. It's in your favor. Uh, you're going to be able to move on from that. Oh, definitely in your favor. So I understand. I do a lot of readings for many of the different Pisces. Look. This is in your favor. So this is some kind of relationship. This Not necessarily your significant other. However, it could be. You're going to find the news out. The mystery is solved. Definitely. You, it, it's as if it's been there the whole time. And now you see it. You're going to be able to move on from that. And look, not only this is it moving on. This is the success in all ventures. So it looks like... Pisces, this particular time in love, romance, and relationship, this is where you need to listen to your inner compass. Maybe sit back, watch what's going on. You're very intuitive. Watch what's going on, Pisces. See who comes back. See what's going on. Um, I feel the vibrations higher as well. This is a good time for you. Another success, moving. If you're not moving, you're maybe doing major renovations to your home, uh, major decorating changes. You just, this is a good, creative, positive time for you. God bless you, Pisces, God bless you. Let's go on to finances because here again, you need to do what makes your soul sparkle and shine. I'll be doggone, here it is. You're doing something new. This card came out twice. Possibly even a new residence, but this is about career and finance. Some of you are planning on moving and now you got the money to do it. Things are happening. Things are happening for you, Pisces. <laughs> Pisces, it may seem as if it were slow, but now when it starts moving, it's moving quickly for you, Pisces. Let's go on. Career finance money card and you're already in the money you're manifesting money you're thinking about money you're being wise with your money this money is just coming to you you're tithing a part of your money to um people less fortunate um maybe leaving the waitress at the restaurant an extra tip god bless them um god bless you pisces any last messages for pisces december wow oh beautiful Okay, you are going to be at a crossroads. You are going to retrieve what you thought you had lost. Um, so this, again, could be in relationship and or with finance. Success in all ventures. So I'm going to take that as career and finance. Success in all ventures. How often do you get a reading? And look, I got to share this with you, Pisces. I am a Pisces. My daughter is a Pisces. <laughs> My great-granddaughter is a Pisces. So when things come out and they're either kind of on the shadow side, I pay attention because I've actually gotten readers, uh, readings from other YouTube readers because it's hard to get information on yourself. So I read uh, actually footsteps to peace. Uh, my friend Kenya, I don't even know. She's, she's not doing readings anymore on here, but... They've always said, Petrelli, go back and listen to your own reading. And look, I'll be doggone. I feel blessed. As a Pisces, as a fellow Pisces, this is a good time for you. It will bring you at a crossroads in relationships and in career and finance. As the career and finance is if money is going to trickle in. So as if some of you are going to 
you know, some kind of side work or um, rental income, something. So with that, if this resonated with you, please click like, share, and subscribe. I would uh, appreciate um, a kind comment, but I read all the comments. Um, in the link below, I have two readers. Um, one is myself, Petrella's Intuitive Insights. The other one is Footsteps to Peace. She's an astrologer. My future daughter-in-law has a travel blog. She's also listed in the link below. With that, God bless you, Pisces.